something that a lot of people will like to do is to do is um, kind of label their buttons, either saying off or on, or maybe closed or open, or something like that. Um, the button actually does have a label feature, which we could use to um, add some text to our button. However, that text can't change in the way a message field does. We could attach a string tag to it and um, write some new text in, but it, it wouldn't be able to flip between two different words, um, which is what we want to do here. So I've added a message field to do that. And these are two items that I'd like to kind of group together. So I can do that just by placing it um, in a good spot and highlighting both of the widgets at the same time, either by clicking and dragging um, my cursor around them or by clicking one, holding control, and then clicking the other. So once I've selected them simultaneously, I can right click and select group. This will group them and kind of turn them into one entity that I can move around um, at the same time. You'll notice that the properties are, are now grouped together in one big list. Um, if you want to just find a certain part of this widget, like maybe I just want to look at the on-off message field, I can hold shift and click on it, and it will click only that one element of my group. Um, you decide you want to ungroup this, you can right click the group and pick ungroup and it will put it back to how it used to be. And another option here is convert to widget. What this allows us to do is um, actually turn it into a custom widget, kind of like what I showed before, actually the exact same thing, um, which is something we cover in the advanced training, but this would allow you to use it in other parts of your project. Uh, the last thing I want to show with these buttons is that um, this button is a group of other widgets. So kind of like how I just created a group of widgets and I could turn that into a custom widget. Really, that's what a button is. And um, with that group of widgets, I, I could change what they are, um, particularly with the pictures, if I want to customize it. So with my button selected, if I click configure here, I can change the up image, down image, frame image. Um, just by clicking in this cell and clicking browse and selecting a new picture. So it's made up of pictures that you already have that you downloaded along with Gmobile, um, but you can you can change that and customize it instead if you'd like to. Also, when you're adding a button, um, we have the options up here to change the frame or to um, embed an icon or to change the color. So you can set all of these things up from the widget gallery and make all of your buttons formatted that way if you want to. Or if you don't really like any of the buttons, you can use one of these special buttons called the hotspot button. It's um, it's a blue square here, but it's an invisible button. So we can um, make something like an icon and just turn it into a makeshift button by putting the invisible button on top of it. So that's another option for um, what you can do to set up your buttons. So really that's it for module two. Um, the topics for exploring the widget gallery, using labels and numeric fields, um, using properties and setting a data link, using buttons and lights, changing colors and properties using tags, uh, using a message field, um, formatting and grouping widgets, 